Welcome to Sideshow Live, everybody! Woo! Yeah! Okay. That's some people here in the audience did not clap. I did notice that, and I am going to be reporting it. Uh, my name is Jeff May. I'm very, very excited uh, to bring this wonderful episode with you. I am joined by one of my favorite people, ladies and gentlemen, the fantabulous Brad Gage. Brad, how you doing? Fantabulous. Wow. Fantabulous. I feel fantabulous. Thank you, Jeff. Good to be here with you. I'm very happy to have you here. I got so excited when I saw you were on the call. A couple of little friends, kind of comedian. Couple guys. of guys, couple of guys doing a couple of, of guy things. It's no big deal. Doing a show. Talking about some stuff. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys will notice. Also joining me, Wonder Woman. How exciting is that? We've got Wonder Woman here. She's on the desk today because if you are a new Sideshow newsletter subscriber, you have a chance to win this beautiful piece, just go to side.show slash WWDLX contest and you can sign up for our newsletter. You get a chance to win. How cool is that? I love newsletters. I love newsletters. I love news. I love letters. When you put them together, even better. I love winning. I love winning cool stuff like this. Now you have until September 30th to enter. So don't delay. Sign up right now. Do it now. Now. No. Oh, Was that no, aggressive? I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. I'm okay, it. Brad, I think you can't uh, win. Oh, I think but I can also have for the newsletter. Can he win? Can I get? No. no. I don't, we were told I don't you to. can't win, and also you're fired. Uh, <laughs> what was it again? One more time. It's uh, uh, side.show slash WWDLX contest. That's what you do to sign up for it. I've got an awesome show lined up here today. I'm so excited about this episode. Uh, it's a little different. It's a little bit different. Now, we understand that you are all very busy, that you've got a lot to do, so we're going to shorten this show up a little bit. Uh, we, uh, our featured collector segment that we do normally is actually getting its own show. It's very own show. Oh. How exciting is that? Nothing. Okay, I'll What's slash the name for of the it. Show? What's the name of the show, Jeff? The show is going to be called Collector Spotlight. It's going to have a lot of fun extras. Now, make sure you watch that YouTube channel where it's going to show up, and that's going to be coming out next week. That's pretty cool. That's We're cool. making new shows, good things, elaborating, making things happen here at Sideshow. I like that. Uh, now, first... Uh, we're going to have our Geek Headlines uh, segment brought to you by Brad. And then Brad is going to join us back over here. We're going to look at some really cool pewter collectibles by Royal Selinger. I hope that's how I pronounce it. I got the royal part. I think it looks right. Selinger? 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 J.D. Selinger? J.D. Selinger. We'll figure it that's out. It's fine. Brand, and yeah. associates. That's what, uh, <laughs> and then we also have some really great Transformers pieces uh, that we're going to geek out over, which I'm, I'm really stoked for. This is going to be a super fun show. I'm so excited to get started. Brad, do me a favor. Yeah. Can you start us off with some geek headlines? Do you want some geek headlines? I need do some geek headlines. Do you guys want some geek do, headlines? Do you guys want I geek headlines? Want yes. Geek okay. Topping it off. For the geek headlines, we got some news over at Disney Plus. The new showrunner of the Hawkeye series is a writer from Mad Men. His name is Jonathan Igla, and I'm excited about it as a fan of Mad Men, and you know, old '60s uh, suits. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm sure that's his. That's his. That's, that's going to be the vibe. The Hawkeye, yeah, just going to throw it back. Just John Hammond it up. You know, God, can can we just cast him in anything? Can maybe he be the bad guy? I'm surprised he hasn't found his way into Marvel. Maybe we're going to be saving him for something. Remember when they were talking about him for Superman for a while? I could deal with that. I'm, but I'm still I, he's got to have like a drink, though. That's the one thing. Every time I picture John Hamm, I, I picture him in like a gray suit looking all good. Yeah. With like a head of good boy hair. And a nice, drunk a Superman. Nice, drunk suit. Yeah, that, should, that would be great. <laughs> but for the new Hawkeye show, yeah, we're hoping yeah. that, uh, you know, he's, he's shooting cigarettes out of people's mouths or something yeah. like that because... Just running around trying trying to navigate the new corporate world of yeah. being an Avenger. Hopefully not cheating on his wife like everyone yeah. in Mad Men. That would be nice. Don't cheat on Linda Cardellini. No. No. I'm stoked about this. Every every time we get new news about the Disney Plus stuff, I'm always really excited. Because I'm like, oh, this is another thing that shouldn't be happening, but it is. <laughs> I love it. Uh, They're really building out that world. It's kind of insane. Phase 10. Yeah. Can't wait for it. Well, next up for Geek Headlines... We are talking about the working title of The Matrix 4. What is it, Brad? It? What is it? You ready? I'm ready. I'm waiting. It's called, You are you guys ready? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Project Ice Cream. Yes. I, we all scream for it. I need that to not just be the working title, right? Yeah. I need that to be the title. Just the <laughs> full title. Just not even The Matrix the Project Ice Cream. Yeah. Just... 
Project ice cream. That would be nice to have. I'm sure there's got to be some sort of Photoshop image of the of the original poster of him just like yeah holding it. Holding a cone. Yeah. It's got to be in a cone though. Why? You know why? Because there is no spoon. Oh <laughs> Groans. That's what you want. That's what you want from a live audience when you tell a bad Matrix joke. No, I, I, I can't do anything off of that, so I'm going to have to move on because that's a perfect joke. I believe it's a perfect <laughs> Matrix 4 joke. All right, so next up, Geek Headlines. The official trailer for the movie The Lighthouse has been released. This is a movie by the director of The Witch. Remember Ooh, that one, The Witch? Spooky. Very spooky. This looks spooky, too, but it's starring R. Pat, Robert Pattinson, The Batman. The Batman. And G. Joplin. The green Janice goblin. Joplin. Oh. Janice Joplin. <laughs> she's back, baby. And she's lighting up the house. No, it's Willem Dafoe. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey Robert Pattinson! <laughs> Come on into my lighthouse. Put some light in the house. <laughs> He's got just the spookiest face He's ever. He's got it going on, man. He does. This movie looks cool. I mean, it's it's nice. Uh, you know, not since uh, uh, The Artist have I be, been excited about a black and white movie uh, in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. That's... I like your qualifiers, <laughs> and I, I identify with that excitement. I think this looks really fun, and I think it's a good reminder to everybody that's like complaining that Robert Pattinson got Batman, that he's a great actor. He's actually quite good. Just straight up a great actor. He's like, very good. Have you seen Good Time? It's a good time. I love, have a good time. I love when people are like, damn, I don't think he should be Batman because I didn't like the movie they made for little girls. They said like, that, that wasn't... That's not for you. That wasn't. You weren't supposed to like that yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, you, you did. You didn't think it was a good pick to pick uh, the guy from uh, uh, Ten Things I Hate About You as the Joker. Yeah. Well, look at the egg on your face. Oh, look Our at that. Bat. Vampires. White House Batman. Boom. I love when you're like vampires don't glitter, and you're like vampires don't do anything. They don't exist. Because they don't exist. They're fictional. Yeah. Uh, also, moving on, Haley Atwell, Peggy Carter herself. She's moving on to a different franchise. Mission Impossible, which number is this? Sorry, had to check. Se seven. Seven. Lucky number Slevin right there. I uh, don't know what they're going to call this one. Just Tom That's Cruise. That's it. They're going to call it Lucky jogging. Number Slevin. Okay. Is that, can they do that? Is that a, can you legally do that with a movie? Okay. I, uh, let me tell you about this franchise. Please. Uh, put it in my veins. I love every new... I'm always like, how are they going to do a new Mission Impossible movie? And then they do it, and I was like, well, that was amazing. It's uh, it's the height of spectacle, and the the nice thing is, like you know, it he it helps that, that you know he did his own stuff. It just helps. Every time you don't care, but you want to know. I always there's like a new video of that halo jump from the last one mm. of him jumping out there, where like there's another there's like a camera guy with a camera on his forehead, but then there's also another guy videotaping the guy who's videotaping. Oh yeah. And so in my head, I'm always just picturing that that halo jump. There's just thirty different cameramen <laughs> spiraling around trying to tape each other from taping each other. Uh, I'm super stoked about this. Haley Atwell is a flawless actor. She's so talented. Uh, super stoked on this. I wonder if she'll be an agent in this I movie. would hope. She's good at playing agents. Yeah. She, there's no precedent play. set, so I don't see how she could possibly do it. I don't know. It. I don't know if she could play an agent. Very excited about that, though. Good on you, Haley. And uh, next up, ooh, here's a big one. Margot Robbie is revitalizing the Tank Girl franchise. She's going to be the girl in the tank. I am, everything about this is flawless yeah. to me. I, I love it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, there's a lot of people Margot Robbie is amazing, by the way. Like, only makes good decisions. Only makes. Even Focus, I didn't see it, but it was on the plane this weekend. People are, so people are seeing it. <laughs> if Delta, <laughs> if Delta it. likes it, then that means the people like How it. How did you know I was on Delta? That was just a because guess. you told me you had a bad flight earlier. I so actually, I figured that I'm, was. I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for silver status. Just so kidding. Delta, you're not. I'm on your side. Just kidding. They're great. They treated me well. I'm doing a bit. Uh, it's, it's, these are jokes. These are jokes. These are jokes. Are they sponsors? Do they sponsor the show? No? no. Okay. Um, we're good. But then. no, Margot Robbie, Tank Girl. Oh, I'm so, I loved, so here's, uh, I'm such a mark. Uh, I saw the first showing in Worcester, Massachusetts at Showcase Downtown, Friday at 3.30 of Tank Girl. Yeah. I was one of the nine people that saw Tank Girl in the theater. How exciting is that? Tank Girl at Worcester, Mass. Yep, that's how we talk. Worcester. I mean, is how are they? Yeah? We're yeah. in Worcester. Worcester. Yeah. yeah. Now we talk like this, kid. There we go. You just talk like this. What, do you think you're better than me? That's mostly what we all I say. I don't. My yeah. accent is not better than you, Peter. But yeah, well. I, I evoked that from you, and I'm happy That's fine. 
I'm and excited about this. Are you a big you Tank Girl? You like that I, movie? You know, I, I know of the Jim Mafood drawn versions of Tank Girl because yeah. I love Jim Mafood. Shout out to you, Jim. But um, don't know much about it. Remember the movie? It looked fun. Yeah. Naomi Watts in that movie. Naomi Watts. One Naomi her, Watts was in that movie. She was stuff? Jet Girl. She played Jet Girl in that. What's a jet? A jet? Oh, a it's jet. It's like a fast plane. Oh, I know what a jet is. Do you? I was on one. With sure? Delta Airlines. Did you? You seemed a little. I was on a Delta you, Airlines jet. Did you think I called her Jed Girl? I thought it was Jed. I don't like, know. I haven't read Jed it. Jed Clampett? Maybe. <laughs> that could be right. Jed could be something in the Tank Girl universe. It's not, and we Because Tank on. Girl, it's a girl with a type of vehicle, yeah. a military vehicle. I'm, tank. Jet Girl. Girl, different type of military vehicle. Well, let me know when it's boo, uh, Bird Scooter. Girl. That's what I want to know. Bird girl. Bird girl. That's somebody else. That's already that, happening. That is somebody else. That okay. is somebody. Well, segue girl. Anyways, here's <laughs> a segue into the last headline of the day. There's a new trailer for season two of Jack Ryan. Yeah. Jim. You know, like Krasinski. Yeah, John Krasinski knocking it out of the park. You like the show? Uh, I haven't seen this one either, but boy, do I like him in his other work. <laughs> Brad, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm a real. I, when it comes to the topic of Jack Ryan, I'm a real quiet place. Uh, there it is. You see that? You know what? I hear like you can watch the entire series in 13 hours. Oh, <laughs> that's our commentary. No. Thir I, if he, 13 you're, you're, hours. It's another movie oh, he was in. I see. Ah, uh, you are all scum. Was he? Was that the? Michael Bay was the Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. It was a good. It was a good movie. That was where he proved he was an action guy. I know. Yeah, it was. That was where Michael Bay really cut his teeth. Well, no, I mean Krasinski. Thirteen but. hours. Oh, John Krasinski. Yeah. Yes, and he was friends. Uh, and the other guy was the other guy from The Office. Uh, the other Pam boyfriend. I forget his name. Roy. Oh, boy. The guy that played Roy. No. Roy and Jim Come both. On. Both getting all jacked up. Thirteen they're, hours. Yeah, they're trying to. They're all trying to prat now, and I'm down for it. Hey, give me more prats. Prat out my chubby comedy actors. <laughs> I want it. Give me. We're looking at you, Josh Gad. <laughs> yeah, Josh Gad, <laughs> hit the gym. Wanting to be the Penguin. You should be Batman. I. <laughs> I will just say, uh, I haven't seen the show, but I'm hoping if you're Jack Ryan, you got to give at least one scene with a good Harrison Ford. Yeah. Point. How dare you, Jack sir? Ryan. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he's I'm not, in. I'm in with that. Yeah, you gotta. If he doesn't do it, I'm gonna continue not watching it. Or you could do the Affleck shift, where you make it the Affleck Jack Ryan. I don't even know what he. Or did. the bald. I don't know. I think Some he ran. Fears, I think he, he ran. He, he did a lot a, of like. No, he was in a. He he couldn't run. He was in a sub. That was uh, that was Alec uh, Alec Baldwin. That's yeah, he did. was just like, Ugh. right. Being Is that, handsome. That's my Baldwin. That's a good Baldwin. He's just handsome like you. So I'm just gonna give you. Oh, he's not handsome like me. <laughs> He's handsome, like handsome, handsome. He was very. He was one of the most handsome. I'm like curious handsome, where people are like, yeah, right, and it's like, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, I'm curious to see which of these headlines you folks are most excited about. Okay, so let us know in the chat. Yeah, that's another segue for you. <laughs> Back to you, Jeff. Thank you for giving me a little time for the headlines. I, I love it. This all the time. You knocked it out of the park, Brad. Oh, I like man. that. Uh, we are going to take a very quick video break. We'll be right back with me and my best friend in the world, Brad Gage. We're going to be talking about some fantastic pewter collectibles that we've got coming up. So stay tuned. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey, guys, and welcome back to another Sideshow unboxing. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Poison Ivy Premium Format figure by Sideshow. This is a carnivorous piece, so let's just get started. Up first, we have the base, which you're going to want to try to grab from the very bottom. Place it down right there. Next up, we have her three petals, which each petal has a different color code at the very bottom right next to the peg right there. This one is black, so you're going to find where the black spot is at the bottom of the base. And then you're just going to find the portion and slip it on like so. Be nice and snug. Grab another one. This one is gold. So again, you're gonna to want to find the gold peg, slip it on, and that's that. And then lastly, same thing. Except this one has no color. It's just kind of a reddy orange. So you find the one with no color inside of it, 
slip it on, and that's that. Next up, we're going to be putting on Poison Ivy's body, which is right here. And then on the bottom of her body, she's got another little shaped peg, which you're going to want to find where that slips on. Let's turn her just a smidge. Do that on, and she should go nice and flush, just like that. Her finger should be just barely grazing that top plant right there. Next up is her head, which right here. This is her collector's edition head, and that simply just goes right here, like so. And that is the Poison Ivy Premium Format Figure Collector's Edition. And then next up, we're going to show off the exclusive edition which that's just another swap out head. So I'll take off Poison Ivy's head right there. Go to the side, pick this one out. And then this head, he's in similar to the collector's edition. So it goes on just like that. And there we go. That is the exclusive edition of the Poison Ivy premium format figure by Sideshow. That's been another Sideshow Unboxing. Welcome back, everybody. Nothing? <laughs> really? <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> Brad and I have some really cool, uh, really fantastic pewter collectibles here to discuss. I'm super stoked about these. These are fantastic. I really love them. Uh, this Batman piece, Brad, take a look. Take a look at this baby right here. This is made out of pewter, huh? It's made out of pewter, yeah, which I'm really, really excited. It's, uh, I believe pewter is it's tin, copper, and antimony. Wow. It's heavy. Feel this. Feel the weight of this thing. Oh, that's got some... That's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's weight. You could that's a you could piece. stop some crimes with that You're thing right here. You could uh, stop some doors. This is the Pewter Collectible by Royal Selinger. I really hope I'm saying the name right, everybody. Uh, Selinger, Selinger, Selinger. Cut it, edit it, put it however you want. I have that there. <laughs> uh, and it's based on the comic rendition of Batman. It's over seven inches tall. And, and, and by weight, I'm guessing 45 pounds. This thing is really... Over under it's really. It's really, it's really weighty. It's a, a fantastic piece. Get a look at that he face. Was, I mean, truly the muscular form of Batman. Yeah, he's, he is he's, ripped. He's totally ripped. Even he did not skip one day. Look at that. Look at them abs. Sure. Look at that. Look at those quads. Look at them. Look yeah, at them. I mean, it's Loops. it's it's Can't lovely. Glutes, I love. But... He's got the, the you know the, the little ears on the cow there and. Uh, yeah, I like I like short ear Batman. Are you a short ear Batman or are you a long ear Batman I'm, guy? I'm I am a bit of a you know long ear Batman guy, but yeah. I can enjoy a change up. Now and then. Also, just the detail on the, the utility belt there. Really yeah. like him. There's a lot going on. I like on. that. Uh, we have the Joker here, this piece. I, what I love really about this piece is he's got the dangling handcuffs. Oh, yeah. He's gotten himself out of the cuffs. This is, again, a pewter collectible by Royal Selinger, uh, based uh, uh, by classic comic portrayals that we see here. He's got that uh, devilish grin. You see the grin if you can get a good can we get that he's got the big mouth on him yeah look at that he's having a good and time his hair, i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm eventually going for that look is that what you're going for see, joker I'm hair kinda going for joker hair i don't quite have the widow's peak he's got but uh you got a good head of hair you know he's he's got almost a, a defoe look on him a little bit oh right? yeah i mean i think that everybody's he's been chomping defoe. at the bit to get Willem playing this, but this is great. Uh, we, you can look, if you take a look, and I don't know if you can see it, he's got these like creased makeup lines on here. The detail on this oh, is yeah. utterly fantastic. He's got that classic suit, the kind of like the pinstripe pants, pinstripe and pant. it's it's literally, it's like kind of carved in there, you see. I oh, mean, you I, can feel and it. I can feel You it. can all pretend that you're feeling that too. He just um, broke out, I love that. He's got that disheveled hair, the signature suit, the crease lines of the makeup, the devilish grin. And the he, long gun, that is big. Yeah, That's the hilarious. Classic Batman long gun. Hilarious well, gun. I mean, we're going all the way back to the Burton Batman with the long gun. I, love I it. like that, and he's sit, standing there on uh, the Justice Department of Gotham City's seal there. Now this one, ugh, oh, I don't wanna throw go. my back out putting this one up here. Yeah. This piece. Wow right here is insane and massive. This is over nine inches tall, this Batman, uh, based off of Jim Lee's work. Uh, so we see the design there sort of really peels itself from Jim Lee's work right there. Uh, it is another pewter collectible by Royal Selinger. It comes here, and this is really great. You have the the sort of batarang, the dangling. Yeah. The batarang, like look, it, it's, it's there. It's, you hear it? 
Can you hear that? Yeah, that's pewter on yeah. pewter, baby. That's 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 a that's a perfect collectible calling. It's uh, at the door. Yeah. So these pieces, as well as a few others, are actually available now at side.show slash collect royal. Uh, super stoked about these. Really like them. Uh, we've got a very quick video break coming, but we'll be right back uh, with some really great Transformers and Autobots roll out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sideshow unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Psylocke premium format figure from Sideshow. So let's just go ahead and get started. Over here we're going to get out her base. So first of all, you're not going to want to grab her by these portions on her base. You're going to want to grab her like so. And just gently lift it out of the box. Place it down right here. Next we're going to go ahead and grab her body, which is right here. And her body very simply keys into the base right here. Down she goes. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab the two sashes that attach right here to her hip. Right here to her hip. Those are right here. Right in this first one. Sort of curls downward. Goes on like that. And the second one also curls downward, goes on like so. Next, we're going to grab her arms, which are right here. Both of them are holding katanas. Now her right arm goes in like so. And her left arm, she's kind of holding her katana right behind her back, so it goes in just like that. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and attach her head, which is right here. And that simply keys into the very top of her body, like so. And this right here is the collector's edition of the Psylocke Premium Format figure. But with her exclusive, we're just going to remove her left arm, place it down here. Her exclusive piece is her other left arm which is demonstrating her psionic abilities. Right there. All right, and this is the, Psy the exclusive edition of the Psylocke premium format figure from Sideshow. All right, thank you guys for joining us. This has been another Sideshow unboxing. Welcome back, everybody. Thank I'll you, start Brad. It up. I'll start it up. Thank you, Brad only. <laughs> Mel, you did great. I want it to be known, everybody out there. Mel did great. Uh, Brad and I are back, and we're joined by Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. These two we got kids. some really great pieces here. I'm very, very excited. Uh, we have uh, cartoon accurate Optimus Prime here that we're going to talk about. We have Bumblebee, uh, movie Bumblebee. Uh, that we got coming out. We also have this really great piece right here. It's called Optimus Prime More Than Meets the Eye. It's an art print by Sideshow. Did you know Sideshow does art prints? I did know that. They do. Because they did this one. Because they got this one. They showed it to you and they said they this did. piece by Darren Tan right here is fantastic. This is a limited edition of 300 pieces. This is the framed HD aluminum print by the way. This one is an aluminum oh, print. Oh it's an aluminum print. Um, Love those. The paper print available uh, in white or a black frame as well and also unframed. Uh, and you can see it's uh, side.show slash optimus slash I. This scene, by the way, and I don't know if you guys picked this together, but I totally remember it. This is taken from uh, the uh, Transformers, the uh, motion picture. The 86 movie? The 86 cartoon. He does a flip and he's shooting over oh, the guys and he lands. It's, it's a very early scene. Uh, spoiler alerts, if Optimus Prime's in it, it has to be early. Uh, uh, but this, re this oh, really- Oh, wait, what? No, no, nothing happened, nothing. Uh, but you take out this, uh, check out this great piece. This is aluminum, so you can see the shine is really great uh, on there. You can see it really sort of being reflecting. The detail on this piece is just out of control. I'm in there. I feel like I'm straight up in that scene. Yeah. No, you're and not you, actually in there. You, oh, wait, I'm not? No, no, there's no, there's no you. He's not in there. Brad's like, but I, I thought, feel like Optimus I'm, Prime is I'm shooting me in the yeah, face I'm right now. I'm very frightened. But no, I think he's yeah. shooting... He's shooting someone right next to me. I feel very safe because yeah. I'm with Optimus Prime. Let's hope the Starscream and Thundercracker are behind us. Uh, I mean, I feel like we have some we have some 
some, some planes in the back. Those could be Starscream or Thundercracker. Or maybe Jet Girl. Or jet, it could be Jet could Girl. could be Jet Girl from Tank Girl. We could, we could do a crossover there. Jet Girl could be showing also up at jet. any time. Um, so we got uh, that going for us. Uh, really excited about this piece. Really okay. stunning. Uh, now this piece I really want to talk about. When this piece was, when Super Producer Sam brought this piece over, I lost my gosh darn mind. Uh, because I want to talk about this right here. This is the Optimus Prime uh, more than meets the eye. From uh, the cartoon, It's huh? a statue yeah. by the PCS uh, Collectibles. It's the classic scale, right? Now, if you look at the the sort of, it almost looks like it's cell shaded the way it's sort of, it, it's oh, very absolutely. animated. Yes. It, it's very, the paint sort of invokes your, your 1980s nostalgia in the best way possible. And if you look at it, even look at that screen, Brad, if you turn and look at our cameras and you look at it, this looks like a 3D cartoon right here. Well, it's a 2D and 3D, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, a, um, it's an incredible effect, actually. Yeah, it, it looks great. It, it does look really cool. It's about 10 and a half inches tall. And there are detailed paint applications to recreate the look of the animated series. That's what they told me to say. Well, and I was like, well, we are. But it's sense. true. I mean, it's, it, this brings me back to um, the classic show. There's a swap out right arm that comes with his energy axe. Okay. Uh, there's also a swap out right arm that comes with the blaster rifle that you see here. Uh, and if you want this, you can check it out. It's available at side.show slash optimus PCS. And take a look at that base. Take a look at that. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Look at it. You know, it's, it's crazy. I recognize, I recognize the blaster from... This, that's from this the print. P, the print, yeah. That's the print. That's the print blaster. So I am there. That's the name of a. Is okay. that a name of a? I is am that a transformer there. print blaster? No, is that not one? Seems like it would it have been. Could be. What uh, do we got next, Jeff? Oh, guess who? Guess who's here to show you a good time? Uh, it is. I was doing a Yoda there. I don't know. He's, 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 he's got different voices. Is that Bumblebee? I am. Yes. Is that, yes. Sir. Sir. Yeah, is if, that, you know, if there's that was a, great. If if the, someone is listening to the movie Empire Strikes Back on the radio of the car, then he sounds that like works. Yoda. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that logic works completely. Uh, this was uh, that was a solid riff on our part, <laughs> by the way. I got to be 100 percent honest. Thank you. This Bumblebee collectible figure is by 3A. It's the DLX scale uh, die cast metal. This is metal. This is a die cast piece. Uh, it's based on, obviously, the design from the Bumblebee movie. Did you see Bumblebee? I did not, but I am a fan of the posters. It is the best Transformers movie. I heard that it was lovely. What was it set in the 60s? 80s. 80s? You're right there, Brad. But he was a 60s bug. Sure. <laughs> sure, Brad. Hey. That works. Does it work for you? I can't watch every movie. I get it. Why would you want to watch the movie? I've of the seen thing a lot of them. I know about. who he yeah. is. Too bad it wasn't on a Delta flight. You could have watched it. They actually did have that uh, on my flight. This piece, by the way. I watched Aladdin. You watched Aladdin? I watched the new Aladdin instead. But I should have watched Bumblebee. Well, there it is. Way to not give it to the underdog. 55 <laughs> points of articulation okay. on this piece, That's by the way. That's what I was wondering. 55. So that's kind of an aggressive amount. <laughs> I mean. Like, 55 seems high. Which is good. But Transformers are known for, you know, their articulation and all their... Oh, yeah. I remember when I had stuff. my Transformer toys, Imagine. all the articulation of them. Some of them the even had elbows. Had. The ones that I've had. Some yeah. had knees and elbows. Uh, he has LED illuminated eyes. Uh, I do not know where the button is to do that, so I'm not going to try and pretend to know how that worked. Uh, but he has an interchangeable Stinger Blaster as well. And he is available... You take a look at that at uh, side.show slash three, the word three, three A Bumble. All right, so you check that out. You can take a look at this 55 points of articulation die cast Bumblebee from the Bumblebee, anim uh, not animated, live excuse action. me, live action. Did you see it? I did, of course I did. <laughs> okay. I got that Stubbs well, A-list, baby. I see so many movies. I see uh, more movies than I should. I see movies that I don't want to see. I'm like, well, I got a couple hours. You owe it to your steps. Again. I owe it to my twenty-three dollar <laughs> month thing to do it. It's, it's, remember Movie Pass? I miss I do. Movie Pass. I do. Good for Movie Pass. Uh, Brad. Good for us. Few. Few. I mean, I wouldn't say few. few. I'd say woo. It's been an amazing show. It has. Uh, now I'm going to show you something real quick. I have. Oh. There's more to come later. Check this baby out right here. Uh, come back here at two p.m. We get the third episode of our brand new, hi, of our brand new six scale show, Unsealed and Revealed. Unsealed and Revealed. You know Which it's fun because it rhymes. You know what? You know why it's fun? Because it's host, not it's classically handsome, 
as we have discussed. <laughs> Not Baldwin handsome. But, but handsome in a way that you go, ah, I'm but interested. You'll I mean, be like, he knows about toys. I'm like, that's the level <laughs> of that. Uh, uh, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to take, a, it's a fully interactive show, by the way. We interact with the audience as well. So whatever they ask us to do, within reason, yeah. we will do. Don't reveal too uh, much. We're going to get a closer look at that figure. We'll be joined by Guy Clender, uh, who's the local six scale expert. He knows everything. We asked him how many six scales he has. Guess how many he has. 600. It's roughly around that, wow. yes. Uh, and we'll be looking at this amazing Hot Toys Scarlet Spider uh, from the PS4 game, actually. Uh, and it's going to be a great show with a great host. Uh, <laughs> I'm only great. laughing because of how much fun it's going to be. Uh, well, I like that. Uh, don't forget to head to side.show slash WWDLX contest uh, and sign up for the newsletter. And you can uh, get a chance to win that Wonder Woman uh, piece uh, there by September 30th. You have until the 30th September to do that. Uh, you all have been an amazing, fantastic audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for joining you for us here today. Uh, please join us back. Check out all the wonderful stuff that Sideshow is putting out. Uh, and don't forget to let your geek sideshow. Okay, bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.